Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Codations. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a hot and controversial topic, and that's gonna be how to play Cookie Run Kingdom 100% free to play. I'm gonna be bringing you guys five tips on how to do exactly that and to increase your overall account progression. Without further ado, let's dive right in. <music> right in ladies and gentlemen so the very first thing we're gonna be discussing and that's gonna be research and efficiency it's far too common when I hop on people's accounts to do account reviews and I head over to their cookie section they're complaining to me about you know their cookies complaining to me about their you know experience star jellies their resources whatever it is and I check out their cookie section and it is just filled with just levels and levels and levels and levels on pretty much irrelevant cookies that are not aiding in their overall account progression and this is going to be where research really really comes into play guys as a free to play player in any game not just cookie run kingdom it really boils down to using the free resources that the game gives you to still remain you know account progression and remain some sort of competitiveness well in order to do that guys you gotta do research you gotta look into tier list videos that I make and other content creators make here on YouTube you got to join the cookie run kingdom communities from the discord the Twitter the reddit literally everywhere you possibly can to soak up as much knowledge about the best cookies to invest in the best teams to build for PvE and PvP to really make sure that you're utilizing your experience star jellies your skill powders your gold and everything efficiently in the right cookies Otherwise, you're just hindering your overall progression by investing in cookies that aren't going to be worth the investment and not going to help you in the long run. Save those experienced star jellies, do your research before investing in a specific cookie, and then decide which one is the best to invest in to aid you in your progression. The second biggest thing here that I see a lot of free-to-play players lacking on and or not doing enough of, and that's going to be hoarding up your resources. Again, as a free-to-play player, your objective is to use whatever free resources the game gives you to still continue to progress your account, to reach the end game, to beat the game, to remain competitive, whatever you know you want to achieve in order to do that guys you gotta stack up and hoard up resources it's inevitable i literally see this all the time when i jump on people's accounts especially free to play accounts where they literally have zero resources they've got zero tickets for treasures zero you know magic cookie cutters here to pop off on featured banners they've got zero crystals to even do any sort of summons or even upgrades for landmarks literally across the board they're just burning holes in their account basically over and over again because they get a little bit of resource they want that instant gratification they instantly spend it and it's a bad idea instead what you guys should really be doing is focusing in on hoarding up all these resources and using these resources when they're going to directly benefit you and your account progression to give you guys an example here magic cookie cutters saving these magic cookie cutters up for when a featured cookie is dropped into the game that is deemed you know by whales and other content creators that they are game changing and absolutely a must build cookie for every player when that is the case, then pop off some magic cookie cutters that you have banked here for that cookie. If that's not the case, then obviously skip on them because it's not going to directly benefit your account. Same thing goes for the overall experience star jellies and also skill powders, man. Make sure you guys are saving up these things, utilizing them on cookies that 100% are going to benefit your overall progression and not just burning them because you have them. And another big one here is going to be these speed up timers, guys. Utilize these to your overall advantage. These are huge a huge benefit to free to play players as you collect these and hoard these up you can use these to your advantage whether you don't have a whole lot of game time and or you're trying to unlock something faster and quicker that's going to directly benefit your account progression this is going to come in handy and last but not least when it comes to hoarding up guys it's not just about hoarding up your crystals and your currency type items definitely get in here and make sure you are hoarding up an abundance of different things that you can craft via the overall buildings because having an abundance of these will allow you to do more tree of wishes to obviously farm out gold and account experience not only that allow you to complete more events when they do come rolling around not only that increase your overall ranking in those events things like the golden age of trade event that will then increase your outcome when it comes to the resources that you can get from your overall ranking for that specific event now diving into the third free to play tip we've got here and that's going to bring us to time management it's absolutely a hundred percent facts no cap no secret that the more time you invest playing this game on a daily basis the more results and progression you're going to get however 
not everybody can invest the same amount of time. And this is going to be a very big tip for all the free-to-play players out there that I constantly see complaining about not having enough resources or too many things asking for too many resources. It literally boils down to utilizing different times in different buildings to your advantage on when you can actually play the game. To give you guys an example here, check out the carpentry chop, right? Here at level three, I've got three different options available. I've got the, you know, pine cone birdie toys, I've got the acorn lamps, and I've got the cuckoo clock. All three of these items take a different amount of time to craft. Obviously, the very top one's gonna take me four minutes and 25 seconds. We've got the 19 minutes here down on the acorn lamps, and I've got one hour and 45 minutes down here for the cuckoo clocks. Acknowledging and utilizing these timers on each item throughout the various buildings in Cookie Run Kingdom will allow us to strategize a plan that works best for the individual player. To give you guys an example, if you can only log into the game literally once every two hours to check on the overall account, then you want to make sure that you're crafting items that align up with whatever time you're logging in. You want to make sure that these buildings aren't sitting stagnant whether they are going to be filled with materials and or not doing anything to give you guys an example here check out the buildings that i've got with items floating above them yes it's awesome that they have crafted items however though if i'm not logging into the game anytime soon to claim these rewards and to queue up new ones these buildings are just as bad as buildings doing nothing because again with her sitting here full that need to be claimed they're not producing any additional resources so you 100% want to make sure that you are getting into the game collecting the individual resources and trying to align the timers up to when you are logging on so 100% get in here make sure you're timing the items appropriately crafting the ones that are going to be available for you to claim right at the time you log into the game so you can efficiently make resources and keep up with those resources so you are are prepared when new events do come along and or when you need to grind out a bunch of gold via the tree of wishes now officially diving into the fourth section we've got here that every single free-to-play player should be 100 doing and that's going to be events and how they are absolutely your best friend what is the one thing that free-to-play players absolutely desire the most uh the free items and that's going to bring us into the event section as a free-to-play player literally events are your best friend you can log in here literally do everything from playing the normal type of content crafting and trading individual items grinding out the arena content in the game even simply logging into the game to claim some additional resources literally a handful of stuff completing milestones achievements for just playing the game literally across the board you're going to be getting a ton of individual resources a hundred percent for free do you have any accounts that i have logged into and seen that they've got a bunch of starter events that don't really have an expiration date until you complete them that are sitting incomplete and a lot of that just boils down to them needing to focus on that specific event and claim those free resources guys those free resources are there and these events are here for you guys as free-to-play players to earn resources without spending money and the last thing here i've got for you guys and that's going to bring us to the sugar gnome laboratory time and time again i see free-to-play players not taking advantage of the sugar gnome laboratory and that's a massive mistake because this itself is a massive, massive benefit for any free-to-play player. All these technologies only require in-game resources, and if you're following along with every previous tip I talked about in today's video, you're gonna have enough resources to then research these technologies, and these technologies will directly increase your overall account progression. Everything from producing goods faster, to, you know, generating more experienced star jellies, to increasing your research time, and then even, you know, providing stats for your overall cookies. In general, it's going to increase your account progression so sleeping on the sugar gnome laboratory is a massive mistake and with that being said ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap up our video for today i'm telling you guys i'm telling you do not sleep on these tips. I see way too many people complaining about the free-to-play progression and or feeling like their account is stuck and, you know, at some sort of halt. I would advise you guys to check out these tips, really compare and contrast, make sure that you are following all of these things because I'm telling you, if you do so, your account progression is going to increase. You're going to be prepared for when new stuff drops into the game. You're not going to be making mistakes by wasting resources and in result, you're going to have a better experience. With that being said though, guys, if you enjoyed this content which if you made it this far you obviously did don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below as i cover everything for cookie run kingdom related from guides tips tutorials coupons news leaks you name it you'll find it here on the
the channel. Also, not only that, I would like to extend an invitation to join our Discord. I've got a Discord, the link's provided down below, with like almost 7,000 players that play Cookie Run Kingdom. So if you are looking for a place to hang out, you know, just for a community, or you got a lot of questions and you need some help, we would love to have you over there. But with that being said, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.